I'm not into reading. Too bad. You have to love it. No time for reading. Make time. Two minutes at the loo time. Thirty minutes after meal. And thirty to sixty minutes before bedtime. There are words I don't know. You're not alone. But I'm not interested in the story. Well, you gotta pick the right book whose main character is at your age, so you'll feel more relatable. How about level of difficulty? Well, pick the book that you can understand at least the seventy-five percent of the words or sentences. That's the one for you. Remember, reading makes you smart. Hello again. This is Kate.、Uh, this video is recorded for students to watch. Uh, if you still remember, we mentioned a term reasoning in the last episode, and today I'm gonna tell you、um, like one of the hands-on skills to enhance your reasoning. Number one, giving a definition.、Um, this video actually is inspired by one of the conversations I had with my students from before.、Uh, we talk about the purpose of the study. He actually replied me, he study for higher power. Well, in order to justify your opinion, you need to be able to give a definition.、Um, to do so, you probably need to do a lot of researches online to know what most people believe in this term, and then do you really acknowledge their way of thinking or what's your critical thinking? All right. So、uh, the main reason I would advise the students to know how to define a big term、um, in in an engaging conversation or in your own essay writing because this is step number one for to know what you are talking about. To do so, you probably have to do a lot of researches online or in other reference books. Your firstly, step number one, you need to find out what majority of people believe and then what minority of people believe. Finally, what do you believe? Do you actually agree with either side or do you come up with your own opinion? This is one of the best ways for to start for the critical thinking or say in that. Thinking or perfect reasoning. Okay.